Hello everyone, this is Grandmaster Max Sillingworth, and in this short video, I will show you a quick and simple counter to the King's Gambit, which goes e4, e5, and f4. I find that often a lot of players, when first facing a King's Gambit, will play some passive move like d6 or knight c6. It just allows white to get quite a pleasant initiative to start the game. I have suggested a move d5 to many students in the past, playing the counter gambit of sorts. But here my suggestion will be to play e takes f4, threatening queen to h4 check, uh, embarrassing the white king a little bit. So white can play knight f3. And now my suggestion for this short video is to play knight f6, attacking the e4 pawn. So if they defend it, then we can play the strong d5 central break under better circumstances. And if they play e5 instead, we can bring the knight to h5, in which it does a good job of defending this pawn. And after, for example, bishop e2, we can either play g6 and safeguard our king with the fianchetto before playing d6. Or we can even start with d6 first, so that if white would take, it would just help our bishop get activated and in turn defend the f4 pawn from attack. And finally, if they play the bishop's line of bishop c4, well then we play our queen h4 threat, and then we just consolidate our position solidly now the white king is misplaced. So we play d6, the queen comes back to f6, and basically we just want to make sure that after knight c3 they don't get in knight d5, and so bishop e6 will give black very decent play. So I hope you found this video useful in dealing with the King's Gambit 9f6, and I'll see you in the next video.